If we want to go all the way back to the beginning of the Hubble Space Telescope origin, we first have to look at this guy. This is Edwin Hubble. He was born in the late 1800s and was one of the greatest astronomers of his time. He made several discoveries. One of his greatest was classifying the previously known nebulas or clouds of dust and particles as galaxies other than our Milky Way. He was a great inspiration to people and even space telescopes. Skip ahead about 15 years to the year 1947. During this year, a Yale student named Lyman Spitzer released an article talking about the advantages of space telescopes instead of telescopes on the ground. Now, at this time, there hadn't been any artificial satellites, let alone telescopes put into orbit around the Earth. This article would be one of the first published ideas about having telescopes in orbit. So, we know that these people wanted to create a space telescope, but why do they want to do that? There are actually a few reasons for this. First, the Earth's atmosphere greatly blurs and blocks our view from the ground, so if we can get a telescope into orbit, then we don't have to worry about the blurring of the atmosphere. A second reason, the atmosphere can sometimes absorb or reflect certain wavelengths, which can restrict our vision of distant entities from the ground. There are lots of advantages to having a telescope in orbit. In 1969, the National Academy of Sciences published a report offering enthusiastic support for the HST, or Hubble Space Telescope, which at this time was called the Large Telescope. This report supported the idea of the Large Telescope immensely. Just five years after the report was published, the first work group convened. During this meeting, scientists and engineers thought of ideas and concepts. They even came up with an initial budget. Four years after the initial work group, the U.S. Congress approves funding for the construction of the Large Telescope in 1978. At this point, the idea had turned into a full-blown project. It was an exciting time for everyone working on it, and they all jumped to work immediately. Training began for astronauts, and designing of the telescope mirrors started as well. It was a busy period with everyone's sole focus on building the telescope. A quote from Brian Dunbar at NASA explains how the telescope works in better detail. After light travels down the length of the telescope, it hits the, con the concave, or bowl-shaped, primary mirror. The light reflects off the primary mirror and travels back towards the front of the telescope. There's no doubt that HST was beautifully designed, with several years in the making. It took a little more than 10 years for the team to finish construction on HST, and about halfway through the decade, in 1983, the previously known large telescope was named Hubble Space Telescope. Remember that guy? A lot happened during those few years, including the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger. Unfortunately, the launch didn't turn out very well. Challenger fell apart 73 seconds after launch, killing the seven passengers aboard, including a high school teacher, Krista McAuliffe. Finally, on April 24th, 1990, Space Shuttle Discovery was launched carrying the Hubble Telescope and five astronauts. This was the moment after years of thought, designing, manufacturing, HST was deployed, thus bringing the project to completion. This is the first telescope in space. This was definitely an amazing accomplishment and one to be remembered by all of humanity. Everyone was excited for the jewels of knowledge and information waiting to be discovered by HST. On May 20th, 1990, the first image from HST was released to the public. Its name is First Light. Its purpose was to compare the same image from a ground telescope and a space telescope. It may not look like much, but it is certainly important. Throughout the years after the initial image from HST, more and more images were captured and published. Some of my favorites include Hubble Deep Field, Pillars of Creation, and the Helix Nebula. These pictures and more are truly fascinating and a great representation of how large our universe really is. Throughout HST's time, it has captured many mind-boggling photos, but it has also helped us make lots of discoveries and findings. For instance, the astounding age of the universe, roughly 13.8 billion years, or unearthing the phenomenon that the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. It may feel like HST is just a telescope that took some cool pictures, but to really understand the significance of Hubble, you have to take a deep dive into the information it's gathered. Number one, the Hubble has let us see so much of our universe, as I've said before. And this is important because HST is just a tool to map out our galaxy and other galaxies surrounding us. It can also tell how far away different solar systems are and galaxies. 
So if humanity ever starts traveling to different places outside of our own system, we'll know where it is, how far away it is, and sometimes even how habitable it is. Number two, as I've said already, HST discovered roughly how old our universe is, and because of this, we can learn more about the history and past of our universe. With better technology being developed every day, we can educate ourselves on how the universe works, its past, and maybe even predicting what will happen in the future. And guess what? Hubble was the one to start all of this. These findings have significantly shaped the way we perceive our universe and our place in it. To this day, HST is still exploring. It has been an important part of our world, inspiring children, documents, and research all over the world. When the first images from Hubble were released, people everywhere looked up to the stars, fascinated by how vast our universe is. HST wasn't supposed to last this long. It was designed to live for 15 years at maximum, yet here it is, still among our stars, always an inspiration. Unfortunately, Hubble is planned to crash back down through the Earth's atmosphere sometime between 2030 and 2040. But we still have many things to look forward to. With the recent establishment of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, we can look forward to many more discoveries and images. Also, plans for another space telescope, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, are being developed as well. But the only reason we've gotten this far is because of HST. It was the first space telescope ever, and we've looked at it and known what to improve upon. Hubble has documented so much of our galaxy and universe. Once Hubble eventually goes down, its legacy will stay with us, always and forever.